Hey there guys, in today's video we're talking about hollow and semi-hollow guitars. What's the difference? What's the deal? Rock on with Rock Hard Riffs, the Rock and Roll Guitar Channel. This is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. Hey, if you happen to be new to our channel, please have a look at our playlists. Have a look-see at all the different types of stuff we do. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Make sure you share our channel. So in today's video, we're talking about hollow bodies and semi-hollow bodies. Now this Epiphone Casino is completely hollow. So one of the differences, obviously, is that we have the trapeze tailpiece versus the stop bar tailpiece like on the 335 because there's a big piece of wood going all the way down the middle this one completely hollow now to me the one of the first things that really stuck out of course about the fully hollow body is that it's light it's not super super light but it's a nice light it's a nice comfortable guitar another thing is you can see it just right in the lap almost perfect height. I have it, like to have it a little higher and I just, you know, put my legs together and just arch up the guitar a bit. Very comfortable. So if you're used to playing like acoustic type guitars, this would be a really easy switch for you. Uh, some people might not be as comfortable with such a big body like this, but I find them very, very comfortable. The one drawback you could say about the hollow bodies is that they can tend to feed back. Now I know there are different makes like Gretsch's and Ibanez's and stuff that make hollow bodies with humbuckers too, not just P90's. And what they do is they make a little bit of a thicker top so that it doesn't reverberate so much, it doesn't shake so much because the whole guitar just gets going like crazy. I mean it screeches and howls when this thing gets going and you can't stop it unless you turn off the volume and wait a second or two. Let's see if I can scare up some uh, screeching tones here. It's called microphonics too, or whatever that is. But if I cut back on the game, it's not as bad, right? And I don't have the volume very high on this at all, but you can see how that thing feeds back. Also, that's one of the really cool things about it is that you can get that feedback, you can manipulate it, etc. You know, so these tend to feed back a bit. That's something you have to uh, consider. It also has a bigger bellowing sound. Now there is a video that I had put out some time ago, I'll put it in the top comment, about what is the difference in just acoustic sound, not electrified, but acoustic sounds between this and a 335 and a regular uh, solid body guitar. So you can hear the differences between those if you're interested. But, but this does have more of an acoustic sound. So let's talk about the semi-hollow. So here we have our Epiphone ES335 Pro. This is a semi-hollow. There's a block of mahogany going all the way down the middle of this. The new Epiphones now have uh, maple in them. That's interesting. That's more like a Sheraton. But I think they also have a maple neck. But anyway, this is just a wing that's attached to a big block of wood going right down the middle. Very, very similar to uh, Les Paul's log guitar. That's how he had made it. It was just a big log and he attached wings that looked like they were hollow. Looked like a hollow guitar, but it wasn't. So again, either the big drawback or the big plus is the way that the hollow body feeds back. Well, what about the semi-hollow? Well, let's give that a shot. Let's put on some juice there. Oh, there's a block down the middle. It's still, you know, just like any guitar, it, it shakes and it vibrates and it reverberates. Like any good electric guitar, well, this does too. And again, it has those empty chambers that are up there. And, and for whatever reason that is, the frequencies, etc., this tends to feed back a little bit too, but just not quite like the hollow body. Now, the next thing is the weight. 
this tends to be about the weight of an average guitar. These can go like from 8 to 10 pounds or so. So it's about the same weight as a solid body guitar. But again, like you see, it just sits so comfortably, so nicely in my lap. And I really like that because I have a really bad back. And slinging anything on or having to carry extra weight is kind of a drag for me. So to have a guitar that sits up in my lap like this is a major bonus. And I just love the way that these things sound. Just in case you're curious, these are the Alnico Classic pickups in these uh, Epiphone 335s and I just love these pickups. These are like a uh, clone or a copy of Gibson's 57 Classics which are just so classic. Such, such classic sound to them. So really to me that's the bigger difference is weight and feedback. <laughs> But I love them both, I, and I use them for different things, right? That one has P90s, and this one has humbuckers. So you get different things for different uses. But I sure love them both. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. If you tend to be more of a beginner, I would not probably go with a hollow body. I'd go semi-hollow until you learn how to control feedback. So that kind of covers it, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next video.